This is ABC's World News Now. Hello to our fans online. I'm Rena Ninen. And I'm TJ Holmes with the top stories on this Monday, October 6th. The Ebola patient being treated at a Dallas hospital is now fighting for his life after his condition worsened over the weekend. Thomas Eric Duncan can't breathe on his own and his kidneys have failed. Duncan's girlfriend and three of his family members are now in quarantine. Doctors say they are not giving Duncan the experimental vaccine for fear that it would make him even sicker. Caught on video in Los Angeles, an SUV plowing into a donut shop, crushing tables, chairs, and everything else in its path. Police say the driver may have accidentally hit the gas pedal instead of the brake. Four people were injured, and a homeless man who was a regular at the shop was killed. Also caught on video, a 78-year-old panhandler in Oklahoma City getting into a verbal altercation with a man who's been giving her money every time he passes her. That is, until he saw her climb behind the wheel of a brand new Fiat. You ask him for money in the middle of the street, and you drive a 2013 car? Listen, I work hard for my money. I don't appreciate this. And that's why people like you get taken advantage of people like me. Daniel Ayala even threatened the woman, saying if he sees her again, he's going to bust the window. The family of the woman says their grandmother actually has a panhandling permit and is not doing anything illegal. And to an epic save on the ice, that's Mark Donnelly who was singing Canada's national anthem of the minor league hockey game when that happened. Uh, he barely missed a note, however. He's famous for opening hockey games in Canada, but it now may be for a while before he laces up his skates at another game. But give him credit. Yeah, absolute credit. He kept it going. We're getting more up. Gotta love that one. Get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Rena Nyden. And I'm TJ Holmes. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now. Available anytime, anywhere you want it. More Americans choose ABC News to see the whole picture.